the thing, the how it works is you have two clients. They want to share peer to peer, or they want to see each other's video or share files between them. So first client say uh, A. A will request. It's like making a phone call. So A will request uh, uh, access. Uh, A will hit the server and say that it wants to make an offer. So this server will receive that. So till now the server is still there in the um, uh, in between, and uh, A will. Uh, it, it will say, I just want to broadcast or I, need, uh, I want to reach to a particular uh, another peer. So the signaling server will take that A's request and it will uh, connect to B and it will say that B, A is offering you something. So B has the option to uh, accept it or not accept it. So once B accepts it, B has accepted the offer. Now A can add a stream to that offer. So that stream is now not through the, you know, uh, Google.com or anywhere else. Now that stream is through the peer-to-peer -peer connection, so that saves bandwidth and uh, the video is very fast. So I, uh, there was a Tata Communications hackathon last to last week, and the winner is all uh, sitting there in the first row, second person. Uh, I was also one of the competitors, and uh, we built. A, and Ankur was also one of the competitors. All of us, uh, we built a demo. It was purely on uh, web RDC and enabled sharing, peer-to-peer -peer sharing. <coughs> and uh, I'm uh, trying to showcase my demo over here, and. The way, uh, yeah, well, so I'll show you this thing, how it works. If anyone else has a laptop which can, you know, hit the IP and uh, connect, maybe we can see each other's video. How is this anti-prism and it's in Google server? What are you saying? Signaling Google, Google server, server, so it's... What are you saying? Uh, they're signaling a Google server, so they're getting their metadata. So actually the thing is... Uh, That's why it said not encrypted as such right now. So actually the problem is, like, uh, most systems are behind NAT these days. So we need a stun server for... Uh, let's say 14% of the section of the computers which are not able to make a peer-to-peer -peer correction directly. Sir, so this server is a relay server. It okay. is, doesn't work like any web server or thing like that. It just take data and push data to other okay. side. Can you set that up by yourself? Huh? Yes, yes, it's possible to set your own server. But your server needs to support those protocols of NAT. Yeah. It's easy. So I made an offer. Here comes my video. And, uh, somebody else who would like to hit this IP uh, 192.192.168.1.169 board is 3456 or maybe I can do it myself in the board. As soon as I access over here, I don't think this will work. Somebody else has to pick. So this is an incomplete product. It Uh, he also 
send a connect request. So he can see who, who, who people have made a request to connect to. So he sent, okay, like uh, he accepted that request. And this request is coming from the look, looking to the previous user. So when, when, when I accepted this request, so you can uh, see the screen, my own screen. My laptop is not bad. <laughs> so, you guys can try. Well, you can try Collabify right now in your browsers. It will work. Collabify.debuggify.net. Just switch to K O L L A B I F Y. Anyone doing it? Yeah, it should work. Okay. Okay. So, thanks, guys. Okay. that demo and try uh, run an OJ server. The modules have also been pushed to GitHub and uh, um, it works so that you post it on your server and then let somebody else see it. So I'll just show you that it works. Okay guys, so that was the last talk. Uh, so now, now the best part of the meetup, right? The food? Yeah! So, uh, yeah, let me just uh, thank uh, SGIG group for shooting the, the talks. They will be on YouTube and SGIG TV. And uh, 